Hello people, Strange Templar here. Welcome back to Cudgel Deer. It is the fifth day of winter, and it is probably pretty cold out, but fortunately, everyone ha- well, not everyone. Most people have beds to sleep in and all of that good stuff. Those that don't have dormitories, so... I guess there's that going for him. Um, every episode before I start recording, I kind of take a look through, see what happened last episode, try to catch up on everything, and uh, try to get an idea of what's going to happen each episode. And what I was doing is I was looking at our armor situation because uh, I noticed that Sophie is missing a gauntlet and a boot, and Graves over here is missing... Also, another gauntlet and a couple boots. And when I went to stocks to check on our armor, because I thought they were completed, they are in fact completed. Our gauntlets and our boots are fully manufactured. The problem is, Zen over here seems to have a desire to be in the military. He's took two of the comp two of the gauntlets and one of the boots, and then Zephyrin up here, you can see right there, has the other boot as well, or two of the boots. So Zen has one boot, Zephyrin has two boots, and then Zen has two gauntlets as well. So evidently, if we ever need more military, I'm pretty sure those two are going to want to be the ones to volunteer. But what we're going to do uh, to fix this is go to our militia setup, which is where all of our civilians should be. Right now they're set up to wear any armor. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and set this to none right now, since generally they shouldn't need armor anyways. And this should get Sophie and Graves to run over and uh, pick those up, hopefully. I did set that for militia, right? Uniforms. Militia. Should wear nothing. Position. Militia. Should wear nothing. So maybe as soon as they're done with their jobs, they'll drop them. Maybe? No? Looks like he's still wearing them. Okay, so Zen. How do I get you to drop your stuff? I guess we'll just kick you out of the militia for a second. So if we vacant it, should drop it, perfect, and then we'll throw him right back in. That's weird that even with the uniform change, it he still decided that he wanted to wear it. Uh, but I guess that works. And then Zephyrin is right here, so we'll vacant her, and then we will throw her back in. Right there, perfect. And that should go, so they go and pick up the new armor. Perfect. Hopefully. The Graves needs to put on the last boot. And Graves has a full set of armor. And not the stone cutter. Sophie. She also has a full set of armor. Perfect. And they both have copper shields and copper hammers. So we now have a full set of armor and full set of weapons for both Graves and Sophie, which is great. I am pretty excited about that, not gonna lie. Um, so that is the first thing that I wanted to get checked off on my list today, is make sure that they are fully equipped and ready for a goblin invasion, because it is the fifth day of winter, and the last uh, combat with goblins anyways was the 11th day of fall so they should be showing up here in the next day or two uh, if everything goes according to the goblin schedule so I think what we're gonna go ahead and do is we are going to go ahead and remove this ramp for Java and we are going to cancel uh, this job all of these and all of these for now and wait for the next goblin invasion to go through before we finish that. Jabba should be finishing up. Um, see, he's done mining there. And I don't think I have any mining jobs set for him here. So he's probably sleeping, I would assume. He's idle. Why are you idle? Oh, because you're hungry. That, that makes sense. You know, he's been working hard. He's 
I think in one day, basically, he dug this entire channel for us, and he found some gems for us, so I'm really not going to complain about his need for eating. You know, hard work des deserves hard apple cider, I guess. Why not? Hey, um, so BK now, we have a little bit of a backlog of uh, copper right now. We have... Looks like five more bars ready to be made with the ore, and we have 13 in store. So what I think we're going to go ahead and do is start working on getting the gem industry, since we finally found some gems, get some jewelry stations set up, as well as possibly a tinker bench so that Zeph can start uh, inventing some cool new toys for the gnomes to play with. I think uh, they would love to have some crossbows and blunderbusses and golems and well golems i guess aren't really a thing but in the next update automations are going to be a thing so once we start uh getting golems and killing them we'll be able to start making um automations fairly soon i'm not sure when the next update is scheduled to be out but in the next little bit hopefully we should have the ability to make Basically mechanical slaves, for lack of a better word. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. Let's go ahead and build a workshop for gems. We are going to want a gem cutter. And we already have the cutting wheel and the other piece that we're going to need for the next, uh, the next workshop. So let's go ahead and just set them up over here. Workshop, gem, jeweler. Yeah, the file. So we have a, a cutting wheel and a file already made we had those made a while back but we never really put them to use because we well we didn't really need any gems cut at the time oh and Jabba has already gone through and removed that ramp so that is perfect hopefully the gnomes don't run out there to grab anything we should be good for a while. Uh, one thing I would like to have, though, is this monitor lizard that we killed at the end of last episode. I would like to get that brought in and butchered, if at all possible. That should be something for Trix to do. I'm not sure why he hasn't been. He's busy crafting. Oh, wait. That should be a lower priority than the Butcher. So we'll move Butchery up to four. And that way, if there's ever animals to be butchered, that happens before... Zeph passes out from a exo- Wait, where, where is she? Where is she? We do not want her passing out. Why? Why is she passing out there? Better not be hungry, too. She's in good health. She's exhausted. Huh. Evidently, she just loves working as a stone carver and just doesn't want to quit. Sounds like her. She's a hard worker. Uh, anyways, we have the dirt walls here, so we can go ahead and build terrain floor. We can put some dirt floor down right here. Cover up that little bit. Just to make it a little bit nicer anyways. Um, and let's see, okay, so the jeweler is open. We just need to get the gem cutter set up. And who are we gonna get to s who are we gonna get to actually do the gem cutting? That is the question. And I think the answer is going to be uh, Zephyrin, actually. I think she's going to be a tinkerer and a jeweler. Assuming she has skills in jewelry working. 11 and 10 is not amazing. It's not terrible, but it's definitely not amazing. Is there anyone else that we could pull? Uh, we could take Talon, perhaps. Nope. Talon's even worse. Uh, the problem is there's so many things that I want to specialize in, we just don't have the people to actually do that specialization. Let's see, what does Wingman have? He's got a 12 for gem cutting, only a 9 for jewelry making. Um, Koi? 
What do you got? Nope. So yeah, I think Zeph we're gonna have once she becomes an engineer, she's gonna be a jewel crafter and an engineer because, well, because why not? That that's the answer there. Uh, Trick still didn't want to butcher. Did he decide to go to sleep? Crafting items still. Really? You just really like doing the bone statue stuff, I guess. I don't know. You're weird. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get a couple more things scheduled to get made. One thing that I want to do is uh, for our uh, engineering stuff, we need to get a machine shop made so that we can make a wrench, so that we can make a tinker bench, so that inventions can start to be made. And we already have this stuff made, so since it's mostly going to be Zeph at this point. We're just going to set that up right there. That way she can just kind of hang out right here. And I think what we'll do is we will also set up a small little stockpile here. And we'll call it Gems. And we will keep gems. And probably jewelry. And we'll get a couple crates set up. Uh, just two for now. And that should keep her fairly busy, hopefully. I would assume so, anyways. Let's see, that is Mathy tending to the animal. Okay. Because Trix just does not want to give up the, uh, this bone carving. That works. So, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and set uh, this area to be cleaned. So we can get the gems picked up. And, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna, I'm gonna set up a few cosmetic things to be done. I want to start working on the floor in here. I keep saying that it has yet to actually happen, but it will at some point. I hopefully promise. Actually, you know what? We're gonna do it right now, just so you can see it. Uh, what kind of stone blocks do we have? We have 11 basalt. How much? We have a fair amount of raw. Okay, so yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and train, replace the floor, and I think we want decorative basalt, and let's just do a nice little line right here, we'll do a nice little line right here, and we're going to just come across right here like so, that way each area is kind of separated in its own little group and then we're gonna put in uh, some different types of flooring once that all gets put in but at least that's a start our great hall is gonna end up with over a thousand value hopefully soon which is gonna be great uh, Jamba let's go ahead and get you set up for some more mining jobs hey, you guys are getting this cleaning done quickly uh, let's see we're going to come down like so and I just kind of want to branch out this way as well. Let's go 70. Sure. Why not? Like I said, this area should all be safe except for the possibility of stone golems generating from all of this stone down here. But stone golems are pretty easy to take care of. So I'm not too worried they aren't going to pose a threat of any kind. Uh, but that at least gets Jabba going, and hopefully we can find some different types of stone. And uh, I don't want to get too overly... You know what? Yeah, we do. We want to get overly zealous. We're going to come down here. And uh, let's say 80. Except we only wanted it three wide. Like so... This is all just personal preference as far as how I do the uh, mine shafts. I don't know, I have always just liked the way this looks. And that way we can put, end up putting doors in if we need to. Not that it's going to be overly protective, but it'll at least slow down anything that decides to wander around. And if there's someone down here, it may give them time to run away. But I'm going to go ahead and let him get mining, we're going to let them get cleaning, and I am going to set up Zeph 
as a jewel crafter so we can get some jewelry done. Hopefully we can get some merchants here soon. The last merchant showed up, I believe, on the 12th day of fall. So next couple days we should have a no merchant show up, hopefully. And so I'd like to at least have... Uh, some jewelry made so we're gonna do some cut gems and we're going to make some gemmed rings uh, We could do the necklaces which use two bars or the rings which use one bar Generally you want to use a necklace when you have silver or some other precious metal But since uh, all we really have right now is copper. I'm gonna go ahead and use the gemmed rings so most of the value is going to come from the gem anyways copper isn't really going to add all that much to it so that is the plan there is we're just going to go ahead and make ourselves some some rings so i need to go through set up the professions and all of that and i'm just going to let things run for a little bit and i'll bring you back when something cool happens see you soon well unfortunately <laughs> It seems that even though I wasn't planning on it, everyone decided that they're going to run out and grab all the logs and dirts and claws and everything else right now, which hopefully this doesn't turn into a bad deal. And it so far seems like we're doing okay. It just makes me a little bit worried having all of these guys just, you know, standing around. Or not really standing around, but being outside and vulnerable and all of that but at least everyone was awake so and I was watching in case we needed to really worry about anything but for the most part everything was okay um, I did have Jabba Jabba has been mining up a storm because he is amazing Ooh, sandstone that's another uh, stone color that we have we found some more uh, basalt we found some more uh, serpentine and we've also found a few more gems and also another small little copper uh, vein so we got a little bit of resources happening here uh, I I'm just glad that we finally have access to gems oh looks like more copper which is awesome not gonna say no to that but yeah definitely we have uh, some coal we have some copper we have a little bit of everything going on right now, so I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, and the uh, floor replacement is starting to come along a little bit, hopefully. Eh, fair amount anyways. But yeah, I think our farmers and woodcutters are just a little bit bored right now due to the fact that there's literally nothing for them to be doing except hauling. And so I might have to do a little bit of work on getting all of that uh, fixed, but we need to make a wrench real quick for uh, Zeph. She should probably be the one that makes it. I have her set up. Uh, she went ahead and did the gems. So we have four cut gems. I'm going to go ahead and make four cut bars as well. And uh, yeah, that should not cut bars, but uh, gemmed rings so that when the uh, next merchant comes we should be able to trade for all the ore that he brings we could also send someone off to do some trading but I don't think that's really gonna be worth it at this point it might be though just because it'll be l one less mouth to feed we are starting to run low on food a little bit but we're on the seventh day of winter we're halfway through I'm not too worried about it but uh, you never know I think what we're gonna do, I want to start building, sorry about that, uh, I want to start building a little bit of a, uh, I don't know, an enclosure up here, and I think we're gonna use more pine logs since those are the most abund abundant, but we're gonna just make a nice little area here uh, for when they come up out of the stairs, and I'm gonna have a nice little stockpile here for them to put uh, seeds and wheat like I was saying that's probably what we're going to be using for the most part is uh, a little bit of straw for the yaks and alpacas some seeds for the emus but uh, I just want to get something a little bit nice set up for them um, also another thing that we can do while I'm thinking about it is we can uh, take dirt clumps and replace Excuse me, these uh, 
clay blocks, turn them into uh, just regular old dirt so that one, grass will grow on it, and two, we can turn into pastures. We can do the same over here as well while we're at it. Just gives us a little bit more for our uh, different gnomes to be doing. Like I said, this is kind of the point. Winter is kind of the catch-up point for everything. I really want the goblins to attack just so I feel a little more comfortable sending everyone out to do different things. I have gone ahead and I uh, suspended the loom for now because Zen was really anxious to run out and get the uh, cotton patches that were out here and he definitely didn't want to get the cotton that was up here he wanted he wanted these and he was running out to get it so I suspended it it ended up everyone ran out to get them anyways but whatever it works um I think I don't know I'm I, I'm half tempted to run out and do some foraging I am also half tempted to wait for the next goblin invasion problem is the more I wait the more it's gonna become an issue but once the goblins do invade it'll bring in uh, another big influx of food for one thing because we'll be able to make goblin sandwiches which will be great and it also mean that we're free to run out and do more work outside without much worry of goblin invasions so it's kind of that catch-22 where I need food but trying to get the food it may actually end up being an issue. How is Jabba doing? Is he all done? My gosh, Jabba. You are amazing. Oh! Must be... Sunrise on the seventh day. Okay. Time to save any anyways. I'm okay with that. Oh, he's done with this, too. Nice. So what we could do, I mean, if we really wanted to, we could just mine out this whole thing. And I'm sure Jabba would be more than happy to do it for us, but I don't think we really need to do that. We already have such a huge, huge amount of stone. We have 1,500 dirt clumps. We have another 1,000 dirt clumps. Where, where, wait, where's the stone going? That's Ross Serpent. Contents. So, out of this whole stockpile, most of it is soil. Why don't we? We need to set up a stockpile just for stone. Um, just another temporary. I keep saying temporary. They turn into more of a permanent thing. Stone pile. And we are going to set this up for raw stone only. That way we can just get it up from down below. That gives our workers something to start hauling. And for the most part, that should keep them all happy. Wait, who is that? Mooney! You love just scaring me, don't you? Just run out to grab one piece of cotton. Oh no! Maybe two pieces of cotton. Okay. How many pieces of cotton does she have? I'm gonna say two. Uh, you are carrying a sack with... Oh! Oh no, you're grabbing seeds! Never mind. That's clearly safer. Much, much safer. But, uh, hasn't turned into a disaster yet, so I guess we'll call it a good thing. Uh, but yeah! Right now, everything is still kind of in a wait and see. Zap should have... Finish the jewelry. Okay, maybe once she's done doing the wrench. Yeah, there she goes making the jewelry. And life should be pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and let this run a little bit more. I was ex half expecting goblins to show up during my rant, but evidently they didn't want to, so I will bring you back once something exciting happens once again. Well, it hasn't been all that long since I left you guys, and it seems that Balbers, our ambassador from the Childlike Twine, has some unmet requirements. And formerly, Balbers only needed a room worth of 450, but now that the kingdom is starting to gain in prosperity and worth, Balbers decided that she would like 
a more extravagant room. And as such, she wants her room value increased by 33%. Man, if only I could say that to my mother. Mother, we are becoming more wealthy. Let us give me a room that is almost twice as big as the room I have now. And more extravagant. Not that I still live with my mother. I actually don't. But it makes the joke more funny, I guess. Anyways, so uh, to do that, I think that we're just going to go ahead and say... Hey, have some more statues. Because what says... What says you are respected than a room full of statues? There, there's very few things in life that are more important than a stack of statues. And we can go ahead and build... Um, where are they? Statues. Boxite statues. And should we have them facing each other? They can be in, like, an eternal duel. There we go. That should, because the poor statues are worth 90. No, regular one's worth 90. A regular one is worth 150. So if we can get a regular statue, that could be worth a fair amount. Enough to, to make Balbars happy. Just a single statue! But evidently she wants more than that. So, we shall give her that. <sighs> Darn ambassadors! They're so demanding. Okay, let's go ahead and unsuspend this since it seems that they're gonna run out and grab everything anyways. It doesn't seem to make that big of a difference. Yeah, not that big of a difference. Goblins should be arriving any day now, I would assume. Hopefully during the day and not during the night. Not that it really matters anymore. Uh, but I'm sure they're going to start showing up at some point soon. Anyways, nothing all that exciting seems to be happening right now. Everybody seems to be doing a good job hauling. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh, they are doing a good job hauling. All that stone has already been picked up. That is wonderful. And it actually is amazing uh, that that is getting picked up so quickly. So I think... Oh, is that danger music? That's... Nope. Regular music. Okay, well, then in that case, I think I will let you go. Thank you, as always, for watching, though, guys. You are amazing. Uh, next episode, we'll probably do some more work on here. Just getting at least a basic floor plan laid out and decorate it a little bit more. Maybe we'll start adding in some more uh, tables and chairs for decoration. I'll probably get rid of these tables and chairs just because they're ugly. Ooh, this last uh, bed is coming in and uh, we already have now 15 personal quarters. This will make the 16th and we only have a population of 15 so everyone once again has personal quarters. I'll probably add in a few more in the next couple days just so that when we do get more nomads, assuming we survive that long, which at this point I feel safe saying that we will at least get a few more nomads, uh, they'll have a place to sleep because sleep is important for the working gnome. But uh, yeah, I digress. I think that's all that we really have to say. Thank you as always for watching though guys, you are amazing, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to hit that like and or subscribe button if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time, but until next time, don't be a stranger, take care.